meet freckles our red tailed boa boas are from the constrictor family so they have a very strong muscles to be able to constrict their prey before they eat it this species comes from the sonoran desert in mexico throughout central america the surrounding islands and then even in northern peru I'm sure nobody is surprised, but boas are snakes, so they are carnivores. And in the wild, they will eat rodents, birds, even larger mammals, such as monkeys. They even eat other reptiles, such as iguanas. Males and females are actually slightly different sizes, with the males being six to eight feet long, and females being seven to nine. So it makes sense that the females would be larger because they are the ones that have to carry the eggs. They have the hard job, so they get to be a little bit bigger so that they can carry those eggs. Look at how beautiful our male red tail boa freckles is. He is just so beautiful when you see him in the sun. You can see those iridescence on him. And he is a natural color for a boa, but he does have those really pretty freckles that are on him that gives him his name of freckles. Boas are semi-terrestrial, meaning that they live mostly on the ground, but they, they actually have the ability to climb as well. Okay, so check this out. This is super cool up close of our boa using his scales. So that's how snakes are able to climb. They'll actually separate their belly scales. So then those scales will hook onto the little pieces of bark and help them climb. It is super impressive here in Florida. Florida, we have corn snakes and corn snakes are also semi-terrestrial and they can climb not just trees and whatnot but they can actually climb buildings they'll be found on the tops of sheds or even houses but it is just so impressive it's honestly one of my favorite things is to watch snakes climb they're just so impressive with how beautiful they are 